Alrighty guys, it's your boy, Voidblade, bro. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of story time here. And basically, I'm just gonna have some Bed Wars gameplay in the background, you know? Just per usual. It's Lucky Block, by the way. We won this round, but you guys are gonna have to see how we won it anyways. <sighs> this is gonna be talking about how I met a bunch of my friends who helped me with this channel. And I really appreciate them so much, bro. They're so supportive, bro. Shout out to them if they're watching the video. And basically, what I like to call us is the Void Wave. But I'm kind of sure that the others are too keen on the name. But yeah, so basically, we're going to be starting off with Potato Sticks. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me mention her in my streams recently. Because I was talking about her recently. As she is my PFP and banner artist for my newest profile you know you know the new void blade era for 2024 but anyways essentially i met her in sixth grade as we were in the same class here's the thing though there's, there's always one thing bro this was due to a certain a certain global pandemic bro that i may or may not be able to say because i have no idea if this is going to get me demonetized you know demonetization bad we need money. I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. Anyways. Right. So, one may ask, how do you guys meet? How? Like, what? How do you even meet your virtual and then potato sticks is not virtual in-person learning? Basically, essentially, we got onto a Zoom call because we had group work, bro. It's kind of funny because this is actually how... <laughs> we met we got into a zoom because of a group work bro because of group work so like bro i don't know bro but after that we kept talking and then eventually i went towards in-person learning because i was like screw this i ain't gonna be stuck in my home all day bro like who wants that like who wants that bro <laughs> and basically a long my journey well not what? anyways along our friendship i learned that she's an amazing artist bro like since sixth grade i've seen her art progressively get better and better each day she always does like these little sketches bro i wish i could have more i i wish i had art to display on the screen right now if i find some i will eventually put it in the video but basically the point is guys potato sticks I, I love her art, bro. Her art is a W, bro. It's amazing. I'm so impressed with her artistic skills, you know? And somehow, she just keeps getting better at it, bro. Not gonna lie, I get jealous sometimes because, like, I cannot draw. If you ever see me draw, it's gonna be a stick figure in another stick figure out in the sun, okay? That's... <laughs> Look, guys, I grind bad with you. But anyways, as a proper thanks... Thank you, Potato Sticks, for my banner and PFP. I'm glad you are my profile picture and banner artist. And hopefully, future thumbnail artist. Once I get into the habit of YouTube more, you know? Have to get more used to this. But anyways, guys. Next is Error. So I met her in 7th grade, bro. Where, actually, Potato Sticks and me were in the same class as her, which is pretty interesting. But as COVID had ended, right? We had actually started to talk, unlike me and Potato Sticks, after a while, not knowing who each other, who each person is, like, I don't know, bro, but like, anyways, believe it or not, there's a strange reason that me and Error became friends, but this is actually due to the fact we had similar rulers, we almost had the same exact ruler, except Error's was pinkish, pink dark pinkish right mine was like orangish reddish and they're like bro oh my god it's like funny now thinking back at it bro <laughs> not gonna lie i say we have similar thought processes as well this actually led us to being friends quicker and getting close as friends you know you know just gotta like dang we got along so much faster than other friends I've had in the past. 
Though, I will say, meeting Air did bring a bunch of new stories. And a bunch of new friends. Though, that is for another time, as we are focusing on the Voidblade crew right now, right? And basically, my point is, Air is a good friend. Who supports ideas and is energetic. So I'm glad to have a friend like them. There are so many stories that came in that. In 7th grade, bro. Oh my god. I cannot tell you. But, you know. Wonderful person. Glad to have them as my friend. And I'm glad I get to experience this YouTube journey with them. Alright, who do we have next? Oh, wait, it's Mint. Uh, man, then let's move on. Anyways, we're going on to Gavin, guys. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I would not skip Mint, bro. He's actually been a good part of my channel, if you guys can't tell. Uh, he's been in multiple videos. He sometimes actually makes up the ideas for my videos, so shout out to him, bro. He's a W. But, let's get started. So, it was the first day of school, right? And I was in 7th grade, and for some reason... In my 7th grade class, this random kid walked in who was in 6th grade, along with a few other 6th graders. But we don't talk about that, right? Little did I know, that one kid that walked in first was Mint. Well, even though we actually never talked, I just knew of his existence, you know? And he's actually super smart, bro. What? Because, yeah... Guys, you didn't hear this from me, but he was the teacher's favorite. Anyways, um, <laughs> we actually didn't end up meeting until like halfway through the year, bro. Like, what? How does that even happen? I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess we, I knew of his existence, but we didn't start talking until halfway the year. Or less, I don't know, bro. That's a, that was like a while ago. But anyways how we met is actually pretty funny because we both had a friend in common which is honestly hilarious to me we'll call that friend decay good friend w friend bro w friend decay always brings so much energy right <sighs> anyways so i went up to talk to decay and basically what happened is mint was also there and i was like okay i can't be rude about this bro he may be a sixth grader but i can't be rude he's in my seventh grade class so what actually happened is I ended up saying hi for like a one time. Then we didn't talk again until our seats got changed. Until our seats got changed. Which the seating chart made it so Mint sat in front of me. I sat behind Mint. I was at the back of the classroom. I have no idea what that seating chart was, but <laughs> dude, oh my god. Then we just, after that, we just continued to talk because Potato Sticks, as previously said, was in my class as well. So, and he sat next to Potato Sticks or something, right? <laughs> but like, bro, oh my god, dude. If I'm being honest, he's so smart. I'm, it's always a pleasure. It's always, I'm just always glad to have him in a video, bro. Like. He's always a W in these videos. He's such a W in general. Like, if you were to meet him, you would say he's a good person. Same as Potato Sticks and Error, bro. They're, oh, they're so good Ws. All right, guys. Last but not least, Gavin, or Iceblock, as some of you may know him, if you're from his channel. Go subscribe to him if you want on the better channel. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. All right, so basically... We actually met because of Mint. He's one of Mint's... Well, I guess he's my friend as well, but he was one of Mint's friends, right? And basically, what happened, right? I called Mint one day, and he said he was talking to his friend, right? Right? And I'm like, okay, I was gonna eventually end call because I was like, okay, I'm not gonna interrupt this, bro. Like, what's the point? Yeah, I'll just call him another time. But then, <laughs> I was added to this group call with some random kid raging in call. When I met Gavin, he actually matched my sense of humor, bro. In jokes. So it was always fun to have him on call. As he can lighten someone's day. You know? And mood. Honestly, that's W, man. W. He's a W, man. His jokes are hilarious, bro. <laughs> so after that, I brought him into a few videos. As he... all. Mm. As he's also a YouTuber, guys. You know? Go check him out. Link in the description, bro. Link in the description. 
No, this man has a crazy good personality. And sometimes, sometimes, funny jokes. <clears throat> Mint wrote the script, guys. That wasn't me. Anyways, well, he edited the script. He didn't write it. Mint, Mint edited the script. Anyways, basically. So, of course, my first impression of Gavin was like, okay, he's a good person, bro. As he is one, right? <laughs> Dang, bro. Shout out to him for being in the Decay video, bro. That came out Wednesday. Right? <laughs> as long... Oh, I can't speak, guys. Along with Mint, bro. He's a W as well. I said before. Oh my god, we have so many more videos scheduled to come, bro. It's insane. But, in the meantime, guys. Yeah, that's how we met the Voidblade crew. Honestly, there's not that much of a juicy secret to it, man. It's honestly just... I don't know, bro. It's just kind of interesting on how I met them. Especially Potato Sticks. I think Potato Sticks or Errors is the interesting one, bro. Because how do you go from virtual and on person to becoming friends? Or how do you become friends from a singular ruler? Well, two rulers that were alike, bro. Like, huh? But tell me if I do, if I should do more of these, bro. Tell me if I should do more of these. If we get to 75 views in a week, I'll do another one. Right now, it's Void Blade. I'll enjoy the rest of the gameplay, bro.